All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry, and uh, today I have a story that I want to tell about an aspiring game dev who reached out to me via Instagram. This story has taken multiple turns throughout the time that I was going to cover the game to right now, in, in which I, I went through multiple stages in which I could have made a video on it. Uh, it it's a long story. Basically, a dev hit me up. He's working on an open-world survival game. He wanted me to take a look at it. He responded to a post that I made on Instagram. I asked him, you know, tell me more about your game. He says that he's a crazy big fan. He's like, don't, don't mind if I fanboy for a second. Really respect what you do. He says that they are an extremely small development team from the Washington, D.C. area, and they're making, wait for it, a, a zombie survival game set in the wilderness of Alaska. So... Uh, not a very um, original concept. That being said, this story takes a lot of twists and turns in which eventually his partner, fiance, girlfriend, whatever, ends up apologizing for a drunken tirade that he goes on against me on Instagram. Let's, let's get to the nitty gritty. If you guys like the videos, leave a like on it, subscribe for more. We're currently, I think, at 227,000 at the time of recording this version I've edited this video three different ways now. Let's let's start from the beginning. They're making a zombie survival game set in the wilderness of Alaska. It's a five-player co-op or multiplayer experience. One of your hikers named Zio XIO goes missing and she leaves notes around the level uncovering where she went off and explains this outbreak. So the game is called Zio Survival and it's being made by their company called Dirty Bird Games. They say that they launched YouTube, uh, a YouTube channel a few days ago. So they're posting all the products progress of of this development when i was going to originally cover the game i wanted to take the approach of giving this person some real honest feedback like i normally do i i've had it pointed out to me that when developers reach out sometimes i go a little hard on people who are fans of the channel and just you know are looking for feedback i'm that kind of person i'm very passionate about this stuff a lot of the times these developers are usually so far up their own asses that I feel like they need to be brought down to reality. This guy, he was pretty open and honest about everything. So I wanted to take the time to really do this right and provide a video in which I, I go through all their YouTube content, talk about the game itself, and I wanted to do a really nice dev analysis. I've been feeling really good about that stuff lately. We'll get to why I'm not about to fucking do that. He goes on to explain that it's heavy in like elemental survival, weather, warmth, and clothing. Huge factors for the game. House fortifications, crafting, exploration. You guys are seeing some of the gameplay from their YouTube channel on screen here. And I'll be honest with you guys, visually it, it looks not that great. Right? This looks like something that you guys would probably see me roast. If these guys were out here asking for money for this... It would be it would be over, right? At the time of him messaging me, that's how I felt. No money is being you know asked of me. No money is being asked of my fans. But he's definitely looking for a little bit of promotion, a little bit of feedback to talk about the game. Um, I asked him on July 13th if I can get the latest video that they had uploaded to YouTube. If I could get it in HD, YouTube, obviously, because it's YouTube, they hadn't compiled it in HD yet. It was still 360p. I'm like, okay, I'll wait. Uh, I'm doing other videos. I'll swing back to this when I have a moment. He reaches out on the 14th with a, a link to a new video. He says, hey, bro, another video for you to see more of the game. This covers a little basic fortifications, farming, and, and some primitive stuff. I never responded to him. I, you know, I'm, again doing other things. He then hits me up on the 17th, which was the Saturday, and he says, hey, Fry, I added a few more videos for you to browse with, with all of this, you know, mid-tier gameplay using the female character. I'm thinking, awesome. I'll definitely have a look at that. I'm doing a video on X Defiant on the channel. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. He messages me on the Monday, which would have been at that point, 17th, 18th, the 19th. And he says, X Defiant looks like garbage. Your video had me laughing the whole time. And I'm thinking in the back of my mind, your game looks like garbage. Um, you know, I'm not, not going to roast you. But like, let's you know, sl slow your fucking roll a little bit. 
He then hits me up the next day and he sends me a link to their brand new Indiegogo campaign, um, which also links to a merch shop with like spandex women's pants and water bottles with the Dirty Bird logo on it. Um, the Indiegogo is asking for $6,500 to finish the development of Zio Survival. And I was just going to bed and I, I just, I ended up reading the messages and I, I, I said, you're already, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You're already asking for money for this. The game looks barely playable at this point. I never received a message back and I went to bed. I woke up the next day to over 20 messages from the developer flipping the fuck out saying we're asking to fund the remaining aspects of development 6500 bucks which isn't much i've only shown a portion of the project we're releasing a free demo on steam as soon as the campaign's over that will give us time to finish the early access which apparently according to them is coming in october once we get the backing on indiegogo i'll be handing out creator keys okay again i was sleeping at the time never got a chance to respond even he says, you back dead matter. We have more content shown and published and way more content than they do at this point. You spotlighted police 1013 and the only content they showed was a character walking around an empty police station. So let's address the elephants in the room. Yeah, dead matter was a fucking disaster. If you're comparing your project to where dead matter is, you have plenty more problems than worrying about an Indiegogo and selling water bottles. Police 1013, I showcased on the channel and I called it a scam. It wasn't a spotlight. It was saying, look at what they're showing. It's a character walking around an empty environment with nothing to do. And they're asking for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, this game's not asking for that much, but to say it's going to be ready for early access in, oh, what's the math? Three, four months. It's, it's asinine and it's delusional. Okay. He then goes on to say that he quit his job for this. For I, I've quit my job. I've dedicated the last year of my life to develop this. We have four seasons, weather systems, food, clothing, building, and crafting systems. We're further than dead matter could dream of being. We're closer to seven days to die. I can prove it. You can join my Discord and see our development for yourself. Now, later on in this video, you guys are going to see a look at the demo that they do end up sending me in which I can look in the files and see that everything they have are marketplace blueprints that they've either purchased or gotten for free on the marketplace. So, I, I, I mean, we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. <laughs> Big Fry, I've watched your channel for five years. He says that he can show the code. They've, they've surpassed the majority of games that I've ever covered and their YouTube channel is only two weeks old. They need to strategically play my videos by day. You look at the videos and they're like 40 minute long playthroughs, sometimes of the character just standing idle while the developer speaks. I work 15 hours a day. I'm on three hours sleep a day. I code, I develop, I film, I record, I edit my videos. I go back to develop. I'm one person, Fry. Even though earlier in the message, he told me that they're a small studio out of Washington, D.C. That'll come into play in a little bit. Show me a one-person game developed better than mine. Minecraft, Stardew Valley, Bright Memory. I mean, th there's three right there, but regardless. I will legitimately give you any percentage of income you want to help me promote my game. I reached out to you because I know how you are with games. I wouldn't come to you with garbage. I, I don't want money. If the game was good, I, great, well, awesome. Another survival game that we can throw in and actually play. I, I don't get it. He says, back me or not, your choice. You're legitimately my favorite. I'll always respect you, and I'll continue to grind. And, and you know what? Fair enough. Now, if he would have left it at that, I, I would have been fine. Um, but he goes on to then say, Dead Matters initial content? Bro, mine's literally way beyond what they have even now. Not even close. Uh -huh. Join my Discord. I'll show you myself. So as I'm catching some Zs, he's sitting there stewing on two sentences that I said. And he comes back about an hour later. It doesn't even make sense. An hour after that, still stewing. Pull up Dead Matter and play while I play and we'll see which game has more logic. Or play Police 1013 and I'll play mine and see which game has more features and logic. 
You literally streamed Dead Matter on release and couldn't even leave the gun range because it was so broken and unfinished. The night of release when they made millions and couldn't even leave a gun range. The funny thing about the demo that you're gonna see is it's literally a campfire. There's invisible walls that surround everything. So like, I, I don't quite understand what the point of this rant was. Uh, it, it goes on. I'm one person with no money and somehow in a better state than dead matter. You say mine is barely playable, dude. Do more research on my game. Do more research. It's a platform, bruv. I, I keep seeing this do more research. You're the one coming to me, telling me about your game and showcasing it. What other research could I have done? And watch my videos, he says. Clearly you haven't. I have. The game looks early. It looks like a pre-alpha. It looks like a prototype. You have a character walking around shooting a random M4 at buildings. You can knife things. You have an inventory system that needs probably like four or five UI passes to make it look even presentable. You have a weather system that has like this weird lens effect. So when you're playing, there's like raindrops that hit it and it gets a little frozen. Almost like, looks like a windshield in like Microsoft Flight Simulator. Very jarring for playing a third person survival Bible game strange design choice the zombies look terrible and on top of all of that there's nothing going on in the world and i'm still seeing frame drops within your trailers in your gameplay now the game is in a pre-alpha state like what kind of feedback would you like me to give you so i was sitting here debating making the video at first i i, I was wondering if i should cover it the dude i woke up to a flurry of messages the dude's pissed off what the fuck is going on? I then get a message from somebody who claims to be his partner. Now, I don't know if they mean like business partner or if they mean like his wife or girlfriend, but she sends me a message saying, hi there. I wanted to message you regarding my partner's response to your insight on Zeo survival. First things first, I didn't even get a chance to give you any because you lost your shit in the middle of the night. Uh, for starters, I'd like to apologize on behalf of him and uh, uh, on him and R as co-developer on the game. I was hoping for your insight so that I can implement your suggestions to further our game. Look forward to hearing back from you. So a nice, simple apology. I'm sitting here a little bit pissed off at the guy. All right. Apology comes through. I just say, could, could I ask what the hell that even was? Uh, she comes back and says that she doesn't know. I don't even know what was said. I can only speak for myself, but I would really appreciate some feedback if you were willing. She says that she believes it was the result of intoxication. So not the most professional developers on the block, but here we are. Um, she says that they're working on releasing a free demo right now. And over the last couple of days, I've tried to edit this video. And literally, as I'm editing the video an old fucking video that I had recorded, I get a message with a demo of the game. So we're about to find out the guy who has more content than most of the games that I have covered on the channel. We now get to get an inside look at Zio Survival. So let's start off by reading the email that was sent to me just to set expectations for everybody watching. Thank you for your interest in Zio Survival Demo. As you know, we're in the very early phases of pre-alpha testing. Oh, except in three months, we're going to be going to Steam Early Access and asking for money. The demo features very limited content at the player start camp that provides a small introduction to the final game. We provided several resources within this area. We have curated the campsite for demo purposes only. This is to provide you with the resources you would not otherwise begin the game with. You will also notice the invisible walls blocking off the rest of the map. This feature is not in the final product and for demo purposes only. So he bitches about dead matter having a gun range, but this game has a campfire with a couple of tents. You guys will see in a little bit here. The game can be played in single player. However, we recommend playing with a group of people. The demo is fully Steam integrated, allowing you to invite friends in game freely. Okay, we'll see in a little bit here. The starting camp does not contain enough clothing for each player. Therefore, it's up to you to strategize the best distribution to survive the longest in game. So they give you a campfire with not enough resources for you to invite friends but you can't leave the camp area because it's surrounded by invisible walls. What a great demo. 
We are open to all feedback and are willing to make adjustments as needed to provide you with the best demo possible. That being said, we would love an opportunity to make changes accordingly before leaving a review. Please take the time to review all content provided within our YouTube page. The game that's better than most of the games that I've covered on the channel in three, two, one. Okay, um, let's, <laughs> I guess go new game. Start game, let's find out. Oh, knife slot, okay. Okay, let's, let's kill these things. <laughs> oh, holy shit. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, definitely, dude. More content than dead matter. 100%, dude. Um, okay. So let's see. So zombie hits me, no, like, no effects on screen. <laughs> Dude, uh, you know what, man? Like, after reading the guy's messages, and then actually seeing it, like, play out like this, um... He's, he's so far up his own ass and you click on the Steam demo and you go to content and it's literally nothing but blueprint packs just all thrown together like here. Let's see here. Um, female hero action adventure. So there's the textures. Baseball cap. Uh, advanced locomotion. You know, bone arrow, br there's brushify, classic zombie effects, you know, and it, it's just, so there you have it, folks, a game that is better than the majority of games that I have covered on the channel. If you guys can believe it, I think it was a fucking masterpiece. Realistically, if you want a rapid fire approach to the feedback here, the character animations are stiff. The weather system is really, really weird. The lens with the weather effects hitting it is very, very strange. Looks like a windshield or like, like something you'd see in a Star Citizen helmet. It doesn't fit in this environment. The HUD needs multiple passes to even be worth a shit. It's just blocks. It looks like a simple Unity thing, even though this game is built in Unreal Engine. The zombie models, the movement, the sounds, everything is just so primitive. It reminds me of something that somebody would have put together in a couple of weeks for a game jam or something along the line. Something that doesn't deserve to be on Steam at this moment. And if it does go to Steam anywhere close to the time of recording this video, you might as well chalk it up and call it a day. But I think the biggest feedback that I would give this developer is to lay off the fucking whiskey before you reach out to a YouTuber who is known for giving his honest feedback. And when you get two sentences back not even giving you feedback but asking why you're asking for money for a game in this state and you lose your fucking mind to the point where you can't fathom the fact that somebody would even question your your precious video game i i think that's the biggest problem that you have respect to the other developer who reached out i appreciate the apology and i appreciate you trying to get a dialogue going but when your game is in this state and you have somebody who is coding 15 hours a day so far off up his own ass that he thinks his product is better than anything else on the market and damn to hell anybody who questions otherwise it's doomed from the beginning you wanted a video you wanted some promo i didn't need a percentage here it is you asked for it, you shall receive. My name is Big Fry. If you guys liked the video, leave a like on it. Game developers who are wondering what not to do, this video is a prime fucking example.